So my name is Brian Shaw. I'm from Brighton, Colorado. I've grown up in Colorado my whole life and I am a professional strongman. I've uh, won a lot of contests in my career. Uh, most notable probably four World Strongest Man uh, titles and three Arnold Classic titles. For me, my athletic background was mainly in the sport of basketball. Uh, growing up, I was always uh, really in love with, with basketball and playing it all the time. And so I uh, continued that through high school and then college. Uh, and then once I got done playing basketball in college is uh, when I got more addicted to uh, weight training and being strong. And, um, you know, I, I found that, that love kind of in high school and it continued through college. And then after that point uh, is when I found the sport of strongman. Strongman for me was uh, something that, that mainly uh, at the start of it was a competitive outlet because I was done playing basketball. I, need, I needed something else physical that I could test myself in uh, and have that outlet, you know, for my competitiveness. And so Strongman was uh, a great fit for me. I, I really enjoyed lifting. I really enjoyed being strong and I really enjoyed being competitive. And so it, it really fit well for me. Um, and uh, ended up being a, a great way for me to take out my competitiveness uh, in a sport uh, that I ended up being very gifted at. I would, I would say for me, um, you know, with, with the question, what does it take to be a champion? That, that is something that can morph and change depending on what you want to be a champion in. Um, it's it's um, at the heart of it though, 100%, it's, it's uh, drive, like unbelievable drive, passion, dedication, sacrifice, uh, all of those factors are, are gonna be there um, regardless of what you're trying to be a champion in. For Strongman, it's, it's uh, definitely that probably times two, you know, just because you, you can't take any days off. I mean, it's something that, um, you know, if you wanna be the best uh, Strongman in the world, it's become even more competitive now than, than maybe 10 or 20 years ago. And there's a lot more guys that are chasing that and very, very, very hungry uh, to win. So it's something that the level goes up, all of us uh, push each other and, and you have to not only want it worse and be willing to sacrifice and work for it uh, harder than the next guy, but uh, um, you know, you can't take that, you can't take any time off, you can't take any days off. So it's, it's, it's just a constant battle and that's, I think for me that's what I enjoy the most as well, is that, you know, it's, it's something that uh, your work will show up at some point when, when you're competing. If you put the work in, you're going to be successful um, and it's going to be kind of that, bo that body of work is what you're going to get uh, tested on. And, and what ultimately is gonna put points on the scoreboard at the contest. And so, you know, I'm kind of thinking about the whole time during the prep, uh, you know, what should I do more? What should I do different? You know, and, and, and how am I gonna navigate this and get to that end result? Uh, and that's, that's fun for me. I mean, it's fun because uh, I can be in control of so much of that. And ultimately that is what will help me win. So life has been uh, pretty busy actually since uh, since World's Strongest Man got over and um, you know the biggest biggest change was our uh, the birth of our second son which actually unfortunately happened uh, when I was gone at World's Strongest Man so um, I had to watch my son being born over FaceTime because I was chasing that goal and, and going after and it was something that that was that was tough you know for me it was it was um, you know, something I wasn't exactly sure going into that, how that would affect me. Um, and uh, I thought we were gonna make it. I thought it was gonna be okay and it ended, ended up not being okay. So, um, you know, my wife handled it like a champ. I mean, I'm very lucky uh, to have her. And um, and she, you know, she was the, one, the reason that I went. I mean, ultimately, I mean, she told me to go. It was not, it was definitely not a conversation on her part. It was like, you're going we're not even talking about this. So it was, um, having her support was huge uh, through that process, but I got to come home uh, from World's Strongest Man to meet my son, which was great. And it's, it's been a big life change. I mean, it's something now having, uh, having the two boys has, has been wonderful and, um, and more time consuming. And, and uh, you know, it, it's, been, it's been great, uh, like as a family dynamic, but, um, it's a bigger time commitment as well. And it's something that, you know, right now, especially it's more of my wife um, kind of taking the lead on that. But 
you know, it's, it's something where I have to step up more with our older son and, and help out more. So that's probably been the biggest uh, life change. But, you know, from, uh, from a business perspective, uh, a lot of things have changed as well. I've been really trying to work on growth and expansion and, and you know, setting goals um, and working toward goals that I have been business wise, uh, you know, with all my stuff, all of our Shaw Strength, um, you know, products and, and everything we're trying to get out there. I've, I've now started a podcast, um, which is something I've talked about for years and finally just said, what the heck, let's go and do it. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's going to take some time, you know, it's going to take some time, but I think it'll be fun. And, and ultimately I enjoy it. I enjoy talking about, um, talking about strength. I enjoy talking to people that come in to train with me and you know, it's a good way to, uh, to connect with fans, you know, and, and for, for have, to have people kind of get on board, follow along, you know, that type of thing. So um, certainly trying to grow the YouTube uh, presence as well and, and uh, social media presence. I mean, it all kind of goes hand, hand in hand, but it takes a lot of work as anybody, um, you know, that's, that's trying to do any of that stuff knows it's, it's, um, it's a full-time effort to make all of that grow and make all of it prosper. And so um, all that stuff, I've, I, it's been keeping me super busy, but uh, on top of that, of course, training and eating and all of the normal stuff. So it's just uh, time management has had to get better, you know, ultimately. I mean, it, it, uh, it always does, um, you know, the more you put on your plate, the more you have to um, make sure you've got time for every part, uh, especially the parts that are important. Um, so it's fun though. I mean, it's, it's something where um, every day is a little bit different, but every day is fun. So my, my next contest will be, I believe they're calling it Beasts in the Middle East. Catchy title, uh, but it'll be in Dubai and it's a new contest actually. It's just an invitational um, that it's the first time they're trying to run it and make it happen. And they've got all the guys on board. So I think it's actually gonna turn out to be a really good uh, event. Everything that I've heard so far has been wonderful. You know, as far as, uh, you know, the way they're gonna take care of us, I think um, I think that's gonna be a big, big step forward, hopefully for the sport of Strongman, you know, cause um, certain contests that we've gone to in the past have left that, uh, left a little bit to be de desired, um, you know, and, and uh, Instead, it looks, it looks like they're gonna really try to put the guys first with this one, which I'm excited about. I think um, it'll be good for the sport and that always will be good for the sport because if they kind of raise the bar, they'll make the other contests raise the bar and um, ultimately that's good for the athletes. I am always trying to improve. I, I always need to, uh, I always need to be working on something. I just, I can't kind of sit back and say, okay, that was good enough, or we'll just kind of stay with the same thing again and again and again. So I'm, I'm always kind of thinking about how to manipulate my training a little bit or to improve the diet or to, you know, kind of improve the recovery work, everything, everything that goes into it. I always, maybe to a fault at times, I'm trying to change almost too much, you know, instead of just letting, um, letting what's worked uh, stay there. Uh, Cause I want it all to get better. I'm never happy um, if it's not being worked on. I want all of it to be worked on, to be improved on. So, you know, that's probably the biggest thing is I've tried to revamp a lot of the parts, uh, really worked on the, the diet a lot. Um, and, and I've been talking, uh, talking with Stan a lot more because I feel like we haven't quite got it dialed in uh, exactly where I needed to go this year. So I kind of felt a little bit flat um, at the Arnold, a little bit flat at World's Strongest Man. And, and uh, we've been able to kind of shift gears with that. And, and um, I'm, I think it's really helped with my training and, and uh, recovery as well. So that's, that's exciting. I think we're gonna get that dialed in a little bit better and improve that um, and hopefully come in better. I mean, that's the, the ultimate goal with this one. Um, so we'll get that out of the way and then I'll get a little bit of a deload period and then I'll start prepping for the Arnold uh, kind of toward the end of the year, which will be exciting. So um, try to focus on the bigger contest certainly and, uh, and then, you know, mix in everything else outside of those. So uh, Hofdor's had a great year this year uh, when it comes to competition. He, um, you know, it's put together some big wins with the Arnold uh, uh, Europe Strongest Man and then World Strongest Man, uh, which the Arnold and, and World Strongest Man is the first time uh, that he's won both of those. And, uh, you know, it's kind of, 
He's been talked about for years as kind of an up and comer and, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of the guys for the future, that type of thing, but um, certainly not a new name. He's, he's done well uh, in the sport, and then this year he kind of got over the top and was able to win uh, a couple of those contests. So that was great. I think for me personally, I've had a very long standing rivalry with Zadrunas, and, and uh, you know, it seems like now um, that's kind of morphed into more of a rivalry hopefully that I can have with Hawthor and, and you know Zadrunas is kind of um, kind of step, taking a step back a little bit uh, unfortunately I know he doesn't want to and he's still competing but um, you know it's something where he's kind of he's kind of stepped back a little bit and uh, and Hawthor stepped forward and so you know for me it's it's something um, where I hope it can be a good rivalry. I hope it can be something that pushes me harder and pushes him harder and um, we're uh, we're two guys that are evenly matched uh, in a lot of events, and um, you know, it's it's for me personally, it's exciting because it's something that can drive me to be better and drive me uh, to take my game up. And you know, that that same thing happened with Zadrunas, and I thrived off of it. I loved having that. I loved having that guy that I needed to measure myself against, and I knew was going to be there, and I knew he was going to be ready to go. So now um, that Hawthor's kind of stepped up uh, to that level and presented himself. It can be very much the same thing. I'm hoping, and, and uh, ironically enough, it's it's uh, the age gap between Zadrunas and I is about the exact same age gap from Hofdor and I. So he's we're all about um, whatever it is, like like six years apart uh, or so. So you know that that rivalry. I'm sure when I kind of stepped up, Zadrunas kind of felt the same way that hey, this young guy's kind of presenting himself as a formidable opponent and then we ended up having a great rivalry so hopefully it can very much be uh, the same thing with Hofthor. So for anybody um, uh, that wants to follow me uh, everything is just Shaw Strength so Instagram Shaw Strength, YouTube Shaw Strength uh, we just started uh, the Shaw Strength podcast so um, that's now hopefully up on every platform and searchable um, so it's uh, basically everything is just Shaw Strength you remember that you're good to go.